All right, welcome to the IS3 podcast. I'm Scribble. I'm here with Cooper, Intent, and Lopez. So, what's going hey, on with today, guys? Mm. Hold on. Sir, mm. Lopez... need to fucking Sorry. fix this shit, bro. I'm tired of crashing my <laughs> helicopter and losing my loadout. Dude, exactly, bro. <laughs> I want this fixture shit, dude. Nah, Sorry, there's another dude. fucking thing that you save your loadout and some shit that it I didn't know, work. and you get a fucking free loadout. You just I can't mean, store yeah, it's a, it's I a mean, rebel. I mean, it's an exploit. Don't do it. Bro. Well, no, Ryan said you can do it, but not like a fuck ton. But you just can't fucking store it. All right. I'm well, like, and you get like 10k, and that's just fucking duping money. To uh, to start things off, if you guys didn't know, we now have a sponsor. So I'm gonna read off this ad for us real quick. It's uh, a company called. Good Life Advanced. They sell CBD oils. CBD hemp oil has become an amazing non-pharmaceutical oil that seems to be helping tens of thousands of people like you and I overcome a lot of ailments, pain, anxiety, and even been reported to cure some types of cancer. Well, when I heard that, I decided not to use CBD because it sounded ridiculous. Is CBD ridiculous? I don't think so. Talk to your friends, your coworkers, and neighbors. I decided to try CBD about six months ago. This stuff really seems to be doing miracles. Now, I'm not a doctor, a scientist, or anything like that, but I am a person like you who ends up with a lot of pain and stress just from running around all day. And if you have kids, you know what I'm talking about. The stress alone will drive you crazy. For me, CBD, a co a CBD from a company called Good Life Advanced has been a miracle worker. Not only has it calmed my stress and anxiety, but I've had this pain in my leg for years, and this is going to sound ridiculous, but the pain is virtually gone. And it's so good to stop taking ibuprofen, aspirin, and other drugs. Who needs that stuff? I don't, and I'm sure you don't either. Will Good Life Advanced CBD Oil help you? All you, all you can do is try it. What do you have to lose, except possibly some pain, anxiety, stress? Hey, I'm more than happy to get rid of that any day of the week, and I'm sure you are too. There's a lot of CBD products available everywhere, but a lot of these are mixed with fillers and stuff you don't want. Not only does Good Life Advance have the highest quality CBD available, but they also guarantee it. That's how, that's how good this stuff is. And to make something good even better, they have a 25% coupon available online. So now you can try CBD for yourself and get it at a lower price. So again, the only thing you have to lose is possibly getting rid of your aches and pains, stress, and anxiety. Give Good Life Advance a try. You'll be glad you did at GLACBD.com and use the promotional code SCRIBBLE to get an additional 15% off your total for a total of 40% off your purchase. Use the promo code SCRIBBLE at GLACBD.com to get 40% off your purchase of any CBD products. So, I was fucking clothes shopping, and I was at a fucking Adidas, and I saw someone that looks Who fucking... Who clothes Adidas, shops at like, Adidas? Fucking... Uh, man. name brand shit? What you mean? Yeah, I fuck with Adidas, man. I go to but Hollis. Now, I fucking, like, I'm, like, getting me a pair of shoes, you know, just fucking looking around, and I saw someone look, like, fucking exactly like Scribbles. I'm like, is this fucking <laughs> Scribbles? Like... Uh, you tell me about like, this. Yeah, I was like, is this legit fucking scribbles? Like, like shit, if it is, I'm like about to dap this dude up, but I'm like, nah, I don't trust myself enough to like say, yo, you scribbles? See, I don't want to get that look like, what the fuck are you talking about? Hmm. Like, nah, That's kind of funny. Yeah, you told me about it. Yeah. You, like, you walked up to him and you're like, are you scroll? And he looked at you like you were stupid. Yeah, you told me about that. That was funny as fuck. Yeah, um, So, my friend Kayleen is here. I went uh, I went on a very, very long drive a couple days ago. Um, I don't know. What did, I guess the three... Try to plug your mic in or replug in. It's still poppy. Bring her on the podcast. Yeah, bring this bitch on the podcast. I'll let her download fucking Discord and shit and give her the Discord link. Hey. Let me see there. Is that is that any better? Or am I still popping a lot? It's still popping a lot. Alright. It's just because I'm too close to my mic then. 
No, it's, it's like your mic itself. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, well, um, we can deal with it. But, uh, I don't know. She's asleep, actually. But, uh, it was, I don't know, three or four days ago. The, I drove 12 straight hours back to Kansas City, Missouri, and picked her up that night. We stayed at a hotel. We left at like 7 o'clock in the morning and then drove another 12 hours back. It's, it was 716 miles each direction. It was a, lo- it was a long drive. And she's been here yeah. for a couple of days now. Um, and we went to, we've done a lot of like running around. That's probably why I haven't been on. But uh, we went to we went to Mount Rushmore. The very like, well, we got here like at ten thirty at night, and uh, or nine thirty at night. And so the next day we went to uh, Mount Rushmore, hung out out there, and uh, and then we came or we did some like grocery shopping stuff to fill up the RV so we could, so we could actually have some food. Um, and then today, so I guess it's the next day. So yeah, she's been here for three days so now today we went um went and walked around town a little bit and saw just kind of the big town we went to rapid city we saw a few things uh and then we went to uh bear country which is it's like a it's like a wildlife park that you can drive through and they had and it was so expensive it was 35 dollars, 36 dollars for the both of us but Damn. um but the animals, like the the whole place, of the, the whole place of it is in is like fenced in, but it's but you can drive through it and it's not fenced in, so just the compound mm-hmm. is fenced, um, and uh, so when you drive through, they have all sorts of wild animals just roaming about. Um, they they have like different sections inside of this thing that they can gate off if they need to, but there was uh, I think the first section was um, elk. The second section was reindeer, uh, and then it went on to Arctic wolves. And the keep fuck? in mind, all they're they're all like roaming. They're there's roaming uh, in the like in your. They walk. You have to stop your car so they can pass you because they're like walking on the road and stuff. Uh, yeah. And then it went to, I think it was longhorn. No, um, yeah, longhorn goats. I think it was, or longhorn rams, whatever, whatever the ones with like the the big horns that go behind their head. Um, and then it went to mountain goats, and then it went to bears and wolves. wolves. That sounds fucking lame. The I want to see some fucking lame. monkey taking a shit on my fucking like windshield. You know, I'm I want to I want to send you this photo real quick of. Actually, I'm going to send you a video because I'm just that cool. Uh-huh. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, but they they were actually in the middle of feeding them whenever, whenever we got there. So. Damn, that's what's up. That was that was pretty cool. Oh, uh, and all my videos are too long, so I will just. So fuck. You, I'll just send you guys some photos. Uh, so fucking Olympus. Um. Definitely need to hurry up and get this shit straight. How's it, like? What's wrong with it? It's just like. Little stuff that keeps fucking up is like, um, is it like like, server problems uh, or people problems? It's like both because, like, when you crash your shit, you can reuse it. So people be taking out, like, legit. If I had a fucking ghost hog and, like, I know, like, I get shot down and fucking not lose it because, you know, it's just, oh, wait, you mean they seven fixed the despawns? No, they haven't. Like legit oh, that people. Sucks. Like, well, they I they have a really big update, hog. so it's probably gonna, <clears throat> they're probably doing a really big hot fix. <clears throat> yeah, they hope. they did and close like, server three, so they could do the so they could fix all this stuff. Yeah, like I seen um. Fuck have yeah, we? Uh, yes. Yeah, we have started. Oh. Like, I, like um, we've already earlier, done the ad, uh, and I said my part about. The, Stuff I did today, and now Lopez is going on <laughs> about his things, and then we'll move on to you and Cooper. Yeah, like, hey, I mean, that works. Uh, I if you guys, you guys check the chat, I just sent, 
I just sent photos in to the podcast group about um, from the stuff that we were doing. So, Enton, what the fuck is that gash? Is that actually your neck? Yeah, he's muted, but yeah, he he did that at a he was doing a construction site the other day or a couple weeks ago, and Damn, he took, you know it, he's he took his money. yeah well, no he took his welding mask off and walked into like a piece of metal or something and it sliced up his neck and shit. Well, he said that he was working on a car or something. Uh, he was yeah. working on a barn. And when he took his welding yeah. mask off, he stepped forward and just ran into it. Damn. Definitely needs so, stitches. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, that's that. Um, what were you saying about they they need to do so, like, their I fix? So, like, I saw a safe just started spraying people down, but you probably know they're engaging, but, like... They legit, like, saw, like, fucking people with, like, titans ready to fire at them. So, was it you a know, cop? They just fuck... No, it was a Civ Ghost Hawk. Uh, and they started flying really close, and I'm in my orchid just kind of watching this shit, like, high up in the air. And I see them, like, getting ready to shoot the titans. There's, like, two people with titans, like, aimed directly at it. And you see the fucking Ghost Hawk, like, go back, and then, like, went back too much and just fucking blew herself up. I'm like, okay. I don't know. You need to fix that shit. Like, shit, now I wish I had my arm cooling, so every time I fucking die, I'll just fucking blow it up. Some dumb shit. But I sold that shit. Maybe you should just learn how to fly orcas. No, that that's wasn't it. me. <laughs> like, that's that's what I'm voting. I'm just, I just vote that you should learn to fly orcas. Damn, um, calm out. What do you mean? Calm out. I'm a podcast too. I don't even know what you're calling me out on. <laughs> on be, I'm calling yeah. you out on being a bad pilot. Yeah, I calm out. I was yeah, uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> you're just trying to hide it. You're trying to hide it. This isn't that bad. That bad, exactly. He he should. I mean, he's better than most. I mean, because he I, is I better than Cooper. I'll tell you that much. I flew my oh, Cooper. Man, Cooper flew my ghost talk the other day. Crashed it right into a pole. Bitch. So <laughs> <laughs> don't fly ghost then, talks. Okay, so after after Cooper crashed my ghost talk into a pole, then he short changed me when he paid for it. <laughs> wow. Wait, like ghost talk, ghost talk, like same yeah, ghost talk? the medic ghost no. talk. Uh, Dude, what, wait, what did I do? What you I short do? changed me on it. It was five hundred. It was five hundred grand for insur- insurance, and you short changed me by two grand. You fucking <laughs> said four hundred thousand, and I gave you four hundred thousand. Well, then it was. Then you gave me three ninety eight. You short changed me by two thousand dollars. Bitch, suck my dick. <laughs> you know, I, I, I worked hard for that two thousand dollars. Right? You know, I stood in town for like five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I am going to say that I've been, like, not active because I've just been working my ass off. I do miss fucking real. I just miss being with the gang because, like, Ew. I just see, like, clips and shit. I'm like, bro, I miss it. Like, I'll be, like, watching the clips and, like, at work when I'm on my break. And I'm like, bro, I wish I was just playing right now. I really do get <laughs> fucking. I'm like, ah, oh, shit. But nah. Gotta do what I gotta do. That's how I see it. My man's right. beginning up in his field at work. Intent you. Uh, I began my feeling about work. <laughs> about you said you had a topic to come up, or bring up, or whatever. Oh, topic. Uh, you said you yeah, had something. I had a few. All right, um, bring them up. Let me see. Let me go to my. Boy has like a whole my notebook. Yeah, yeah, yes, <laughs> yes. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> you, you start hearing pages flip. Yeah, just, like, just like, fucking flipping a Rolodex. Like, hmm, this one. He has a, like a big fucking book just hit on his desk, like douche. And just like, hey. Here you go. Here, here's an here's an intent right now. <laughs> Flip, flipping through pages. No. So Not this me. A, it's not like a, a bag of fucking change that like fucking quarters or some shit. I'm so confused. I'm looking inside like the little support team waiting room, and there's someone just like chilling there, requesting admin plus. And this and snap. No, it's the support team room. Oh, like uh, I wish it. It's 202 people or 102 people. 
My man wants the admin plus, dude. He's requesting that shit instead of the support room, dude. He's demanding. I look still, up the article on this. I, ha I have the. Uh, I have the. Uh, Intent still looking up the note. Flipping through his papers. Yeah. <laughs> Damn it! I should have put a bookmark. He's, All he's right, on, here it is. Here it is. He's, he's on page thirty-seven. <laughs> so, um, so, so I, so I was, uh, so I was reading, and uh, did you, you know, need I, help or? Sometimes I just look for. No, sometimes I just look for. Oh, you, you know, did it by yourself. That's good. That, like, yeah. <laughs> So I come across this deal, right? It says a British man has been awarded more than $24,000 after going to a hospital for a bladder procedure and coming out circumcised. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> yes. And I was like, what? There's no way. I know, so I get to like, read on I know in I get there, to when they test medicine, no, I know in, like, fucking British and wherever the fucking, like, England and shit, when they, like, go for, like, they, they test new medicines, and you legit get paid like a fuck ton of money just for it, like. Oh yeah, people, like, yeah. There's always been. Yeah. There's what to be, just to be a lab rat? Basically, just be fucking a human test, but you have to sign contracts and shit. Like I like heard one document that like there's like two people that took like placebos, like you know fucking fake medicine, and then. Like the other people did, like had the le legit med medicine and shit, and like supposedly they were fucking like they took, they were like something wrong with the fucking medicine, like made them go fucking like throwing Bonkers. up, like can nah kidneys started failing, they made the whole oh, fucking shit. body shut down and shit, but they pumped them up with enough steroids and shit, and they recovered, but damn, like. Just be a test for some medicine. I wouldn't do that. So, <clears throat> so the dude. So get this. This is kind of the fucked up part. This guy was seventy years old. That's crazy. Seventy. He gets years so, he got at seventy, 70 years old. old. Yeah, that's gotta yeah. be. That's actually. So, be so it says. Um, it says here he went in for a chiopsy. Where Botox is injected into the bladder wall to help control incontinence, <clears throat> and was too busy chatting with staff to realize he was instead receiving the personal procedure. So, and that's just this is that's crazy. It's just, just funny. So, like, did they pay him because they accidentally circumcised him? Um, then he saw the bladder or, problem, I'm assuming, because I didn't mess with his bladder. I mean, I, I guess, <clears throat> yeah. So I just you, came, I just came across something interesting, actually. I, but but the dude why? Just looked down at his, why? At his dick and he's like, "Yo, bro, now I'm fucking circumcised." It's like this shit's what's up. But why are just twenty four grand? Well, mean? I mean, I, I mean, I, I don't know what the number would be on that, but like, I don't yeah, know. Yeah. It's your own fucking dick. You put the price on it, baby. I yeah, I mean, I guess you kind of. I mean, I don't know. I don't know how that. I don't know how that. You know, work. You know, um, in the court system wise, I don't know how that. Works. Right. This how is uh, this is off topic. I was, I was looking for this other copy that I had for something I was gonna read, but I was looking through my uh -huh. Google Docs and I came across this counter three to one situation. It just said counter three to one. I'm like, oh, this looks interesting. So let me, I want to read this real quick. Uh, it's titled counter three to one. I was already tased twice while I was already tased twice while they stood over me without restraints or any intention of getting restraints to restrain me. Therefore, I saw, as I saw it, not a three to one since they're since they were just standing over me without restraining me. Um, if we if we were in a gunfight and they were tased me as they were. We're running up to being restrained. Yeah, different story. But three people standing over, over a twice tased person without restraining, I do not see a three to one. The only thing in the handbook that says anything about three to one is chapter three, use of force, section three, line three. Lethal force may be author, lethal force may author may also be authorized when the officers outnumbered in a ratio of three to one. Nothing about an officer must surrender three to one when there's no active, when there's no active act of restraining officer. Uh, several rules, chapter eight, hostage situation slash 
uh, player robbing. APD members outnumbered three to one with guns clearly pointed at them need to surrender and upside by the hostage rules. Yes, I was on number three to one. However, I already had already been tased twice while they were just standing over on top of me and not restraining me or attempting to restrain me, uh, which, as I see it, avoids the hostage situation. They couldn't restrain me. Um, the restraining and robbing cops feature was added for this. If I put my hands up, big deal. Nothing's going to happen. I'm not going to drop my gear when they are supposed to take it. And then it has a YouTube video attached to it. So I, I don't have any idea what that's from. I don't have any clue. But apparently somebody got salty and that was my counter for it and it, I didn't get banned. <laughs> so I have no idea. I just came across oh. it. So it, it was my it was my last, like my furthest down post. So it was something I haven't touched in a long time. Damn. Right. Right. So, <laughs> I have no idea what that was about, but it's whatever. There was actually a time that um, there's only me and another cop on. I was corporal, and but both of us are restrained, um, and so they robbed us, which isn't a big deal. They did it all legit and everything, but after they robbed us, um, I picked up a gun off the ground and started shooting the shit out of them, and they got all mad, and uh, it got deemed... It got deemed that it was in my favor because since both cops were restrained, it, the only two cops on the server were restrained, that uh, there couldn't be any backup or anything. So, I, but I have a bunch of videos of that. I have like three videos of that. It's kind of funny because uh, yeah. they they un, they unrestrained me, so it wouldn't it wouldn't like excessive time or anything. They unrestrained me, and then I picked up a gun and started shooting them. They got mad. Is Cooper even here? Or is he talking to that one bitch? <laughs> no, Cooper's, me, Cooper's here in tense one that's muted. He's like, yeah, I'm about to beat my meat tonight to this bitch. <laughs> I'm not off. Uh, I was just like, I'm not trying to talk so much because I have my fan right here. I feel like there's so much background noise. I'm not trying to make it. Uh, we don't hear it. I, I, I barely oh, hear it. No, I barely hear oh, okay. it. Okay. Oh, okay. Then never mind. I guess I will start talking more then. I'm not trying to make <laughs> it the podcast is with all this fucking. F I thought like you're hearing like a bunch of windows. I'm not trying to make it. Nope. I don't hear anything. Well, I I hear it, but I just barely hear it. I don't know. I wouldn't know it's a fan if you told if you didn't tell me. Oh. <laughs> but uh, should I read this ad again? <laughs> this is actually this yes. podcast is actually going by really fast, to be honest. Here's my one question. I want to know what happened to Mita. What do you mean? Mita's no longer a sergeant anymore, and they oh really? She's no long yeah, she's no longer part of the APD. Oh. The, and then I just look, I looked at, and I'm looking at the 400 now, and Gash just legit said, Jesus Christ, the to the token gay of the APD, 07's the most infamous female gets permed, and a fatty got, got designer. The, the, I guess, like, that it says APD 07's, and the most infamous female gets permed, so that's obviously Mita. Right, I want to message her right now. I want to know what the fuck happened, dude. Like, I really want to know, did she really get permed? Because I looked at the uh, roster, and I realized Mita wasn't on the senior APD roster. I'm like, okay. Or the chain of command. I'm like, hmm. All right. So either she just probably stepped down. And I was like, she's not a corporal or anything. So I don't know. I, don't know, I, just, corporal, I just messaged her. So we'll, we'll see if she replies in the next 10 minutes. But uh, <laughs> I don't know what's going on with Intent. He had some stuff to say, but he's been muted this whole time. So whatever. Yeah. But, uh... And Rahib just got a designer. Who? Rahib? Yeah, a designer. But, uh... Oh, my, uh... Fridge froze over. Like, alright, so when I went back to Kansas City, I, I just bought milk. Or, I didn't just buy it. I had it for a couple of days. But it didn't expire until, like, the 3rd of next month. Of September. And I leave... From, I leave, drive to Kansas City, and I drive back. So I'm only gone for like 36 hours. Then I look in my fridge, and my milk my milk has curdled. Like I was only gone for oh, two yeah. days, and it doesn't expire for like it doesn't expire for like another two weeks. The hell! And then I and I thought, well, maybe my electricity went off. Maybe we had a storm or something. But my fridge just runs off gas. So I <laughs> and it was still cold inside. I have no idea what happened. Like it's the biggest mystery I've seen. 
I don't, yeah, I don't have a clue Maybe what happened. Maybe they put the wrong date on there or some bullshit. Maybe, I don't know. Did you, did that shit you happened still to me drink one, it? Bro, and I fucking yes. poured milk. Well, like, I didn't really drink it. I, I more or less chewed it. But... Oh, good, uh, good, uh, good, good. <laughs> no, good. no, I didn't. You didn't make it go to, you didn't make it go to waste. Good boy. <laughs> nah, so no, like, I, one time I, threw I, was, it, like, I threw it away. It was like, it was like maybe like five days until like it expired. So I poured it in and didn't pay mind to it. And I poured some cereal. Like I poured the cereal first and then poured the milk. You started hearing some like, splashing? <laughs> no, no, no. Like I just took a bite. I'm like, I just nearly fucking threw up in the fucking cereal bowl. This shit was fucking <laughs> disgusting. So like every time I have fucking like milk, I always like smell it and take like a little fucking sip of it. I'm like, okay, it's good milk. That's funny. Like the second cigarette I heard this whole podcast was cool. Yep, that's right. Line it up, boys. Line it. That's right, man. I gotta, I gotta still out smoke those chimneys, man. But when I when I can make a pack for under a dollar, you know who cares? Oh, so why we why we were walking around the city today? The um. You guys remember a few podcasts ago that we were talking about eating exotic animals? And, yeah. And so um, when there was this Philly cheesesteak place, and they had a sign out front. And um, it said it said Special Eagle on Thursday. And I'm like, what day is today? Oh, it's Thursday. So... Uh, so that's why I took the picture and sent it to you guys. It's like, oh, Eagle is on the menu, but but then when you look at everything, they're actually football football teams, and it's just a special <laughs> of the week of the football team. So, <laughs> but technically, Eagle was on the menu, and so we went inside, and I was talking to the girl and, uh, at the register, and I was like, is this made out of real eagles? And she's like, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was just... Whenever you order it, it's just the stuff that they put on it. Different different names, different things that they put on it. Mm, the, that's but, what they want to. Yeah, no kidding. I, if it was made out of real eagle, I would have ate it. I, we were talking yeah, about, I would too. We were talking about eating eagles. I, I kind of would too. I would love to see how it would really I bet taste. it tastes like chicken, to be yeah. honest. Yeah, to be honest, same. But, but like, you never everything know. Everything tastes like chicken, more or less. Pretty fucking much, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> So, my work, where I work, is so fucking understaffed. I'm not even fucking, like, joking. So, I went for, like, my orientation. What do you work for? Or what do you do? Uh, Who do you work for? (laughs) Yeah. Where were you on the night of the 23rd? (laughs) Who do you work for? Shut the fuck up. But, nah, I work for fucking Yankee Candle, and there's a big fuck is, if you look it up, is the biggest one in, like, Virginia or, like, What, Yankee Candle? Yankee Candle Village is a big ass Yankee Candle. Look that shit. What up. is it? It's a fucking candle store. Oh, candle. What I asked you? Candle. And you said no. What? What? Huh. I said Yankee what? Candle, and you said no. Yankee Kindle. Candle. <laughs> okay, so they make candles. Yes, and I don't know why we will be under staff. It's a fucking good place to work, but like. I don't know. It's just been so understaffed, and it's such a big fucking store. You'd be closing with people, like, only eight people closing, and, like, closing pe- people from closing is four to nine. So you only have eight people roughly in the store from four to nine, and we get busy around four to, like, six. So we're fucking, like, slammed and, like, trying to be, like, trying to run the store with just only eight fucking people is fucking eight. I'm like, what the fuck is this shit? That and, sucks. like, I, like, there's, no, there's still a lot of people, like, you know, not, like, like, they have better things to do, like, college or fucking stuff oh, like see, that. See and, that work. No, they're just, like, you can say they're quitting, but they're, but it's for, like, a better cause, you can say. And it's just fucking up everything. Yeah, but uh, speaking of work, that uh, my mom tagged me in a uh, in a post this morning on Facebook, and it was actually an RV park in Texas, just outside of Dallas, that is looking for a um, a park manager, and Ooh. so I applied for it. That um, 
I applied for the RV park manager, which uh, they said they gave a brief description of what you'd be doing. You know, it's, um, minor maintenance, answering phone calls, um, or minor handyman stuff, uh, answering phone calls, collecting money, um, making sure people pay, and if they don't, you know, you need you need to be kind to them, but then firm they get them to leave if they don't if they don't pay. Yeah, um, it'd be like so fucking yeah, tax so, collector, like in the fucking eighteen, like not like seventeenth century, like fucking yeah. night. Like, you want you want to know the like, kicker to all this is, is what? that, um, I have when I when I fill out the application part, I told them like I have my own renter, so I know the ins and outs of uh, property management. Um, I did construction and everything, so I know like handyman stuff, electrical, plumbing, um, lawn care. I guess I don't know what I don't know what they want in and maintenance, but. Um, and then also, they they own the the company itself owns an apartment complex in a different part of Texas, and my mom and stepdad used to live in there before they moved to their current spot. And uh, my stepdad's a cop; or he's a he's an officer. And they gave him they gave them half the rent off because he did security for the for the compound, and mm-hmm. so. I told them who I told them that I was their kid, and they and my stepdad did security for them at their apartment complex, so that kind of boosted a little bit. So yeah. hopefully, I, hopefully I, I'll hear back from here in a couple of days, and then maybe not, I'll, maybe nice. I'll be moving to Texas because I I told them yeah. I have my I have my own RV, so I can be on site at all times. Um, yeah, and uh, so you know, income is going to be easy peasy because if I'm if I'm doing maintenance You're there. Busy. Yeah, if I'm doing maintenance yeah. there, then I can stay. On, I can live on site for free. And then I'm getting, and then in like four months, my rent, my renters are actually going to be paying more rent. I'm moving my rent from eight hundred to nine hundred dollars a month, so that's just pretty much free money. Um, yeah. And then I'm getting a paycheck from this company for being the the RV park manager. So it's like easy money, and I don't have to pay for anything but my cell phone and food, and internet. Yeah, that's what's up, man. Yeah. Now you say kind of boost like stuff like that, like how you're. I'm not trying to say anything, but like how your dad used to work there, your stepdad. Hey, yeah, he my, ran security for the complex. Yeah. Yeah, my this is kind of like on the same subject, but my um my stepdad actually fucking tried to be a firefighter, but like the only way you could roughly like he passed every test, like he fucking nailed it and all that shit. And the only way that he can really fucking like get in there is like be close, close to a friend, or be like a friend and fam, like a family, like thing. And it's just fucking dumb. Like somehow, like sometimes they actually abuse that kind of system. Like, oh yeah, I got someone that wants to work, but he's like related. Like he's part of my family. I'm like at at times I think that's just dumb. How like they just let shit slide like that, but you know it is what it is. Yeah. All right. Well, we got about uh, forty-five seconds left of this podcast here. So anybody want to have any closing can. statements? Get this bitch out of here if he's not. Yeah. No him. shit. Get that bitch out of here. <laughs> Where'd you move him to? I disconnected him. <gasps> oh. <laughs> oh, he's gonna be kudos, mad at you. Kudos. Kudos. Let's, all right, all right, Lopez. Let's agree it was Cooper that kicked him out. What? All right, yo. <laughs> yeah, talking to that girl, yo. He all probably right, beats me. He's nah, been fighting no. for a long ass time. He's been there. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. So before we end as well, we gotta give a nice shout out to the R and R. This is the shouts for uh, Slumberjack and uh, Luke the Coop. They want me to do a nice shout out for the R and R. You know you can apply today at Olympus Dash Olympus Dash Entertainment. So support. You just drop down the tab and apply for the R and R application. I wanna. You know, know. Oh, that was but, the. That was the worst plug I've ever heard. It was so <laughs> fast and unhearable. They're not paying no. me for it. You want, I'll you want do it. Call that fucking bitch back. It sounds like your mom. <laughs> Bro, she's not my I'll, mom, dude. She's, girl, I've been she's not my to. mom, but she can sure call me daddy. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll, I'll give a shout out to the r r that uh, R&R wants, us to, wants to give them a shout out. Luke, who was it? Luke DeCoop and what? Slumberjack? <laughs> I think Slumberjack wanted it, but Luke DeCoop wanted me to do it. All right. Well, Luke DeCoop. Luke DeSoup. 
Luke the whatever Luke the whatever he wants his name to be now. Luke Luke the cord, Luke the soup, Luke the whatever, Luke the coop. Yeah. They R and R wants to shout out for Olympus Entertainment, and you can you can apply for medic. They make tons of money. They make twenty grand to revive plus. Uh, they make three hundred dollars. They make three hundred dollars more. Um, three hundred dollars plus more per rank as you climb up the ladder. Uh, you can apply at Olympus Entertainment dot com slash support, and the department section has a drop down. You click on R and R application. You need sixteen. What is it? Sixteen hundred and forty eight minutes, which I think is like three hundred three hundred hours or something. Uh, hours. What? Three hundred hours? I don't know, man. Like What's the math? I have two thousand hours. hours. All right, you need you know. need twenty hours to apply. You need to be sixteen years or older. Uh, there's ex- there's exemptions for years. <laughs> uh, for fifteen year olds, uh, but you have to go through a test and for underage. But apply today at Olymp- at Olympus Entertainment dot com slash support. Use the drop down in the use the drop down box in the department for R and R application so that's that oh shout you... out to me bro i'm about to turn 17 shit. Couple shout more out days. to shout out to lopez for almost being a grown-up <laughs> yeah fucking like right like basically like right next to me but like fuck you know all right well that's all we got for today's podcast thanks for listening to isg podcast uh, be sure Shout to leave us a five star rating. If you guys want us to talk about something or answer some questions, whatever, then do it. Give us a five star rating and uh, leave a leave a review yeah. down below with your questions or whatever, whatever you want, and uh, we'll get to them. We'll answer them. CBD. Uh, and a big shout out to our sponsor, at, uh, Good Life Advanced CBD Oils. Uh, again, right yeah. now you can get you can get. 40% off your purchase at GLACBD.com. Use the promotional code SCRIBBLE. Uh, right now they have a special for 25 or 25% off. And if you use the code SCRIBBLE, you get an additional 15% off for a total of 40% off your purchase of any CBD products. We will see you later. Deuces.